Start a bit, start a rhyme Reading comics, twists are hella sick Start a bit Always felt like Alex Summers was the bigger jerk of Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another DC Multiverse action figure review on two separate pieces over here. We are looking at the Killer Croc Collecting Connect Waves, Red Hood, and Red Robin. If you try to pick these up, you can do so separately at Megalopolis, City, City of Collectibles, where you can pick up your Marvel Legends and all kinds of other action figures. They have their daily deals and an awesome rewards points program. So check them out, link in the description below. And both of these are looking pretty awesome so far already, I'm pretty excited about these nice image of Red Hood right over there, nice image of Red Robin right there, and then on the side you can see the same images right here, and then on the back you can see the Killer Croc, there's the other figures from the wave, here's a read up on Jason Todd Red Hood, if you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now, and then here's a read up on Tim Drake's Red Robin, if you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now, and then you get those images on the side once more, and then you get the spot varnish DC on the top of each of these, not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack these things open. And here's Red Robin and Red Hood out of the packaging, and both of these figures came out looking really good. I do like the paint apps that we're seeing, nice sculpts throughout and everything, and articulation is pretty good, but there's also some things with the articulation, I'm like, eh, eh, eh. we'll get into that later on. But first, let's take a closer look at the accessories, and then we'll take a closer look at these figures. So I'm going to try not to get too rant raving sud over here with these accessories with the Jason Todd figure, uh, so we'll get into that in just a second. But first off, with the Tim Drake, Red Robin, he has this nice bow staff right over here. Here. It looks like it's supposed to be made out of steel and it looks pretty good. It has these rivets right up here and up here and I like it and he has these staff holding hands so you can see that for the gripping and nice touches of green right over there. I like that. And then he has the fisted hands right over here. And then with Jason Todd he has two head sculpts. Uh, we have the Jason Todd head sculpt which looks great. I really like this a lot. Nice flesh tone right there. The eyes look pretty clean. I like how the red mask looks. I like the blue over the black, you know, that always reminds me of the comics, that's why I get happy to see that, you know, whenever they have that on figures in general. He's got a little dot right over here, but yeah, it looks pretty clean, I like it. And then with the hood, or the red hood head sculpt right there, uh, it looks pretty solid, however, originally mine had a little bit of a white scuff right over here, or a white paint blotch anyway, and I did scrape this off with an X-Acto knife, so it looks a whole lot better right over here. But other than that, the paint looks really good on this, so I'm pretty happy with it. So nice lines right over here coming through. I'll dig that. Now, uh, he has three pairs of interchangeable hands. You can see we have the fisted hands right over here. Uh, we get these weird hands, which I, I don't know what's, it's, I don't know, gripping some kind of weapon of some sort, I guess. I don't know, because he doesn't come with any weapons. And then he has the gun holding hands, and he doesn't have guns that are removable from his hips, and that's where I get really frustrated, man. So, I'm kind of jumping the gun on the figure right over here, but yeah, <laughs> so to speak, anyway. But yeah, you're supposed to remove these, or you can't remove these, and that's super frustrating. I've met a lot of the designers from Mattel, and they're with it, man. They know what we want. They know what we like, and they did not do this intentionally. I swear there's like some CEO or somebody like that at Mattel that just makes stupid decisions and ruins the figures, you know what I mean? So yeah, that frustrates me. I hate this. Mattel, you are ruining yourselves by doing that because guess what? I have to buy your competitors' products to make the figure cool. So this is a hit monkey gun, and it fits right into a trigger finger hand of Jason Todd, here, but you can kind of get it in there, and it doesn't look too bad at all. <laughs> So I think both the heads rest on the body pretty well, however I will say the red hood looks like it sinks in a little low, I don't know, for some reason it just looks like it sits low on the figure, but I love how this jacket came out, it looks great, I like how the zipper looks nice and clean with that silver paint, and then you have some nice wrinkles sculpted in there as well, and I like how the gloves came out right over here, uh, you got the wrist for the gloves, unlike that Havoc figure, and we get some really nice back deco right here on the chest, so I'm really happy about that, and the jacket's made out of a soft pliable material so you could, you know, spread it open a little it, move it around, it's fairly pliable. We have these very clean black lines throughout on the figure, and the belt and the guns actually look pretty good, even though they're not removable, but I really like how they came out. And the silver and black looks great on the shins, and then we have some nice wrinkles on the back, and nice clean black paint right there for the straps, and the back of the jacket looks pretty good too, and we have peg holes at the bottom of the feet, as well as nicely painted treads. And we got some decent articulation with this red hood figure. Uh, you can't really move either of the heads up too much though, uh, that's the farthest you're going to get. Same thing with the hood head, so that's a little unfortunate. You can make them look down just a little, and they have side to side motion and a little bit of head tilting right here. Uh, the shoulders are pretty stiff, man. I can only really get them moving outward that far. They move down okay. I wish they can get closer to the torso, though. You could rotate a full 360, you get bicep swivel. Uh, they both have single jointed elbows, or each elbow has single joints, so you can see that right there. And then he also has the wrists that turn side to side and hinge up and down. It's like that for all three sets of hands. He has ab crunch forward, ab crunch back, waist swivel. 
level. Hips move outward very far. Uh, you can't get them to kick forward that much, which isn't too bad, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you have an upper, th oh, and it moves back just a tiny bit. And then you have an upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, wish that could bend in a little bit more so. Then the ankles move down, they move up, and it has ankle pivot, but it's kind of tricky to get that out there, and it's got the ankle pivot where it kind of wants to twist in a weird way. I wish this was executed just a little bit differently so that it was more of a proper ankle pivot. It's kind of weird. <laughs> So Tim Drake looks pretty good over here. Uh, this Red Robin looks pretty nice. I do like the green paint for the most part for that mask. It is missing just a tiny little spot right over there, but the white for the eyes looks really clean. Again, I like the flesh tone. The hair looks really good. Uh, we get this white mark right over here on his cheek. That's a little irritating, this little green thing right there. I can't get that off, but you know, other than that, I do like the head sculpt and I love this blue paint over the black once again, so that's pretty awesome. And the figure looks good throughout, really. I mean, I like how the collar came out over here. The upper torso looks really well detailed. I really like it a lot. The RR looks fairly clean, maybe a little fuzzy around the edges, but still, it's a pretty small logo and I think it looks really good. And we get some nice black right here on the ribs, which is actually sculpted. It's not just painted on right there. Uh, this line on the bicep, that's sculpted as well. However, the line on the shoulder is not sculpted. That's just painted on. And then the green on the forearms looks really clean. I like how those straps came out and the belt color looks a little on the cheap side, I gotta say. I don't know, it just has that weird cheap kind of look to it, but it's sculpted pretty well. And I do like the cape. The cape looks really nice and it's fairly soft and everything and the knee pads and boots look really good and the figure does have peg holes but no treads at the bottom of the feet. And we get similar articulation on Robin over here. He can look up a little bit and down just the tiniest bit, barely at all. It just shifts forward and back that much, not a whole lot. And if you really push that, you can see the plastic splitting at the neck, so that's ooh, a little scary. Anyway, you can turn the head side to side. A little bit of head tilting right there, just a tiny bit. Shoulders move up very far, so that's cool. Uh, you can move them down that much, and you can rotate forward and back. You get a bicep swivel. Great double jointed elbows, so you can move these all the way in, and you cannot see the pins or anything like that. However, it does get really gappy and weird. I mean, when you look at that, that does not look natural at all. So that does bother me, but I guess if you're taking pictures, it'll look okay in certain angles and it does bend in all the way, so that's kind of neat too. Uh, you can turn the wrists side to side and they hinge up and down. Get an ab crunch forward, ab crunch back, waist swivel, hips move outward very far so you can do the splits. He can kick forward only that far. I wish he could kick up so much more than that, you know? <sighs> it's frustrating. He doesn't move back at all. Upper thigh cut, double Double jointed knees and then the ankles move down and they move up a little bit and he does have slightly better ankle pivot than the Jason Todd figure but still just a little bit weird. Now to measure out these two figures you could see that Red Robin is standing at about six and a half inches tall and it looks like Red Hood's just a little bit taller which I like. I want this one to be the taller one of the two. He's the older one so I don't know I just kind of like that. It does look like they have a lot of reused parts over here by the way you know you can see the legs are the same right especially the upper thighs. And then for your Robin figure comparison we have our DCUC Robin and then our signature series DC Multiverse. Was he Multiverse? But we have Damian Wayne, we have Dick Grayson, and then we have Jason Todd and Tim Drake right over here. All four Robins, and yeah, they look pretty good. Of course, this is a much younger Dick Grayson, but as far as the scaling over here with these three, it's perfect. And then here's the Red Hood and Red Robin figures next to the DC UC Joker figure. And then here's the Red Hood and Red Robin next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider Man. Red Hood, Red Robin. Ooh, I want to be red. Come on, suit. Let's. Whew, there we go. Badass. So I really do like both of these figures a lot, even though there are shortcomings to them. Uh, even with the whole gun issue, I gotta say, out of the two of these, I would definitely have to get the Jason Todd, but I really want both of them. I'd actually prefer just having a Red Robin figure. I think there was one that came out that I missed. So I would prefer like the older Red Robin figure uh, over this version of Red Robin. This Red Hood right here is just exactly what I've wanted for my collection. So I'm super happy about that. But I do like them both, and at the price point of around 20 to 25 bucks for each of these, I'm giving them a sud rating of it's not so bad. And they're both getting about the same sud rating because yeah, there are shortcomings with the Jason Todd that kind of equal it out with the Red Robin figure. And the Red Robin figure is pretty cool too. So yeah, they do have their shortcomings, but I do like them. And I want to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel over on Patreon. Your support is very much appreciated. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, you can find over at toynewseye.com and don't forget to follow me over on the Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. I just made a new post over on Twitch, which is a video that you may have already seen if you're subscribed to this channel. So if you haven't seen it, you can see it over there. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Uh, posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. Crispy.
Hey, let me show you some Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.